Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Innalhamdulillah nahmaduhu Wa nasta'inuhu Wa nasta'gfiru Wa na'uzubillah min syururi anfusina Wa min sayyati a'malina Man yahdihillah falamudillala Wa man yutlil falahadiyala Ashadu an la ilaha illallah Wahdahu la sharika lah Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh To all my beloved brothers and sisters Especially to the children We would like to remind ourselves as parents that we should love and care for all of you. We should give the best to all of you. But at the same time, I would like to remind all the young children, you must have a lot of patience. You must always have an open mind and believe that whatever the parents wish for you is always the best. Now, this good thought is very important. Even if our parents call us, even our parent is angry with us, our parents do all of this thing because they love us. We always want the best, hope for the best, pray for the best. But we have to work together closely, reminding each other. And before we say anything, before we make any comment, we hope that we are careful with the word that we use. Very beautiful way by saying likulli maqam maqam likulli maqam maqam every word there's a place every place there is a word meaning the way we talk to our children and also our in-laws you know we must talk with respect love and care they are no more baby they are adult now they have their own family now especially sometimes the way the upbringing of our children's children that means our grandchildren if we think we have a better way Alhamdulillah, when they are with us, we apply whatever we think is best for them. But when they are with their family again, their own parent, their own parent may have their own value. Alhamdulillah, they will learn from both parties. They don't lose anything. So we are not supposed to feel that, no, the way our upbringing is better than them. Then we are going to create some misunderstanding. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, maybe... You know, what we feel is true, but they have their own value now. It's like when we got married, and then our parents who want to give her advice, also we don't accept the advice. We feel that, you no, know, we know how to bring up our children. They care for us. Sometimes the parents are very protective, and we know that sometimes too protective will make our life miserable. We need some space. Yeah, we know them. But inshallah, we hope our parents will help us to understand how they feel. But what I'm going to share with you as children, the first important thing that you must remember, all parents always want the best for all of you. Even they may say it wrongly, their approach maybe is not correct, but they have all the good intention and hope that you become the best and you are happy. But sometimes we are confused. How can you say my parents love me? My parents want to see that I'm happy, but they always you know, create some problem to us. Sometimes, to us, it's a problem. To them also, it can be a problem. So we as young people, we just have to have a lot of patience. We always must have an open mind. Forgive them. If our parents can forgive us for all the wrongdoing that we have been doing to them, hurting them, disobeying them, rude to them before. What is there for us to have mercy you know, and forgive them? We should forgive. Even Allah has taught us that we should ask Allah to shower His mercy upon our parents, like how our parents have showered their mercy upon us. And also, we should ask Allah to forgive our parents. Why we do that? Why Allah want us to do that? Because our parent is not perfect. Just like us, we are not perfect. Even they mean well, but they may say the wrong thing. They may make a wrong move, and suddenly everything that they mean well turn to be negative. But inshallah, when you have the right thought, inshallah, I believe that you can help them. Sometimes we have to help our parent. Our parent also need our help. You must be humble. You must approach them. Parents love us to approach them. Parents love us 
to ask them for guidance, advice, for help. Now, they are not tired in helping their children. Parents can do wonders sometimes. They are always prepared to help you. But sometimes when parents see something that's not right, they get very upset. They don't know what to do. They want to talk to you. Maybe you are too sensitive. They want to tell your husband, the son-in-law. They are worried when the son-in-law may take it also negatively and feel bad about it. So it's not easy. One day you become parent, then you will understand. Now we can say, oh, I will be the best. I'm not going to interfere with my children. I will give them all the freedom. Now this is just word, our feeling now. Now we can say anything. Until the time comes when we get wiser, we have more experience, then we will start to feel because we want to be protective. Or what the parent is doing sometimes, they may overdo things is because they are too protective. Too protective that they don't trust us. They think that we do not know, we are still young. Yeah, of course, the children is always young in the eye of the parent. Even you're 50, you're still young in front of your mom and your dad because you are the children. Children never grow old in front of their parents. So it is very common. So please have mercy on them. Have more patience because if you respect your parents highly and try to win them over, find way, you know that the approach is wrong, but how can you help them? Have a good communication. Don't be too sensitive. There's no point. As daughter, as son, or as in-laws, we have, I mean, all the negative feeling, and you give up too easily. Work harder. Approach them. You will see, inshallah, you'll gain more. So please have an open mind. Whatever your parents advise you, actually, they want the best, but maybe like what I said early, you know, what they want the best is so happening is difficult for you to follow because maybe their standard is different. They are in a different level and we are just coming out, we are learning. But they thought that we can adopt the same level because they are in that level. And this is also some miscalculation among us, the parent and the children, you know. So I hope that inshallah for you as children, if you love your parents, show more love and mercy, you don't lose anything. Number one, you gain the mercy of Allah. Allah will love you more. You remember that the Prophet did mention that the radar of Allah yeah, is from the radar of your parents. That means if your parent is pleased with you, Allah will be very pleased with you. And also the anger of Allah will befall upon all of us when we make our parents angry. They have suffered a lot. I don't think they deserve to suffer anymore. Especially now we are grown up, we have our own children, you know, we should make their life more happier, more relaxed, more peaceful, because all of us as children, we love to see our parents have a good end. We must always pray very hard and work very hard to make sure that our parents have a good ending. Because if you do that now, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will go to repay you kindly. Allah is sure to repay you everything that you do good for your parents. Spend on them, be kind to them. Spend more time with them when they are still alive. Let them play with the grandchildren. If that is one the way to make your parents happy, by sending your children to them, do that. You have five time. If they love that the grandchildren to be with them for days, let them be. Don't, don't be too hard on your parents. You don't gain anything if you're hard to your parents. If you're humble, inshallah, we believe that the mercy of Allah is very great when our parents are happy with us. Whatever you do to please your parents, Allah will be very, very happy with all of you. When Allah is happy, He will protect us. He will shower His mercy upon us. Allah's love will grow and Allah will provide us more risk, inshallah. I just have to remind all the good children, and we believe all of children, they are good children. I believe that they love their parents, but you must show to the parents that you love them, not just by word. Pay them a visit, spend more time with them, understand what they love, what they like. By doing that, inshallah, you give your 
parents a good time, Allah will give you a better time. But if you make your parents have a hard time, we are worried too. As parents, we do not want Allah to do anything and let anything bad happen to all of you. So I hope the children will understand what they should do. Even if our mom, our dad have said and do something that hurt us, they are our parents. They don't mean bad. They have no ill feeling at all. It's just that they, their approach may be wrong, may be too harsh, no, because they have gone through some hard time. Our parents have gone through some hard time, and sometimes because of that, they're worried that we are going to face some hard time too, some difficulty. They just want to be more protective. So I want you all to understand how the feeling of the parent. But inshallah, I believe that all our children is a good children. I just want them to understand more. You know, the best thing for us to do, you know, remember what our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam remind us. Our Prophet remind us that if you want to enter paradise easily, is to find the best way to please your parents. And I'd like to call upon all the children who have their children, please bring your children close to their grandparents. Let them spend more time with your grandparent. That is if your grandparent you know, want them. If you know that your grandparent is too old to entertain, to play with the grandchildren, you still got to bring them close to the grandparent, but you must be around. Be around to help them. But if your grandparents are healthy, they just want to have time with the grandchildren, just with the grandchildren. Leave your children with your parents. Inshallah, trust them. They are not going to do anything bad. They are not going to corrupt your children. They are going to love them more. They just have so much love that they have that they don't know who to give now. I believe the grandparents will love to give it to the grandchildren. So inshallah, we will come back with you after the short break. Welcome back, brothers and sisters, and to all the children, our loving children. We believe that they are loving children. You remember what Allah said in Surah Isra? وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِلْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah command us to worship Him and to be kind to your parents. How do you show your kindness? You always pray, may Allah shower His mercy upon your parents and forgive them that how our parents have showered their mercy upon us and forgive us for all the things that we have been doing, hurting, displacing them. So the same thing you want Allah to shower Allah's mercy upon your parents, like how your parents have showered their mercy upon you. And brothers and sisters, and to all our children, we hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward all of you kindly when you show kindness to your parents. And we hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also will show kindness to our children because we show kindness to our own parents. Because that is the good value, the good aura. When you are good, we hope all the good things in you will go through the children. And we hope our children also will carry on with this good spirit, the spirit of love, respect, care to their children when you become a grand. Parent. So again, brothers and sisters, and to our loving children, young daughters and young sons, please be responsible to your parent. Please be dutiful to them before it's too late. Even before this, we may have some tension because of some miscommunication and understanding, but it's time to rectify. It's time to reconcile. Don't be too hard. Because if you are hard, you're not helping yourself and you can't help your parents. Sometimes we thought that we are sensitive, we have feeling. Our parent is more sensitive as they grow older and they also have feeling like us. So by be humble to our parent, you don't lose anything. Why must we be hard to our parent? If we can forgive and always try to reconcile with our friend, we should do more to our parent. I believe in that, that whoever pleased their parent when their parent is still alive, you can't please them when they are dead. I always pray for every parent 
that they have a good ending. And this is one of the prayer majority of our parents. Ask Allah, Allahumma khatim lana bi husnim khatima. Oh Allah, make our ending a good ending. An ending in peace. An ending that will bring a lot of good memory to those who are living. And by doing that to all the young children who have your own family now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to provide us a lot of risk because our parents always pray for us more than we pray for them. Like I said early, even how big we are now, we have our own children now. To our parents, we are still the children. Each time when they worship Allah, when they make dua, never I come across a good parent who forget to pray for the children. They always want the best. But normally, children forget to pray for their parents because we are too busy with our life. We are too busy with our friends, our own activities. But even how busy our parents, they never forget to pray for us until they close their eyes until they close their eyes. So we want them to close their eyes in peace. And if it's that what we want, I hope that's what we all want to do. So I like to call upon all the young children, all the daughters and sons, be humble to your parents, love them, respect them, care for them, talk to them, call them. If you send messages to them, they still don't respond to you. Maybe their feeling is very hurt, but you don't have to respond the same to them because we can't respond the same to our parents. You can't compare what the parents have given you. So the least that you can do, just keep on communicating with them. Tell your dad, tell your mom, we love you, dad, we love you, mom. Please respond. How are you? Send them some gift and write a beautiful words. I love you, mom. Just do whatever you think you can do. You can be so creative and innovative with friends. Why can't you become creative and innovative with your parents? If you hurt your friends' feeling, you always try to call them up, reconcile with them. You want to meet them up, why can't you do the same to your parents? I think you can do that more, inshallah. Just have some soft, some softness to your parents. Inshallah, when you try your best, if you can win them over, Make them love you again. Make them feel for you again. Make them forgive you. Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alham. We are sure that you will also have a good ending. Children who have good ending are children who always make their parents have a good ending. So brothers and sisters, to all the young children, daughters, son, daughter-in-law, son-in-law, please try your level best. Work hard towards making your parents happy. And inshallah, Allah will make sure that your children will make you more happier. And that's what we want. All of us will be happy and all of us will have the blessing and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all our sins, our wrongdoing, our wrong feeling that we have been entertaining so long to the extent their children so hard to their parents if because of something wrong happened some mistake the parents have done they cut off the tie with their parents they don't want to see their parents anymore to the daughters son daughter-in-law son-in-laws we always pray and hope that inshallah you try your level best to have some soft spot for your parents especially to your mother you remember what our Prophet always remind us between the parent, father and mother. You should always feel stronger to your mother than your father. Because the mother's love is always stronger than the father's love. That's why the Prophet remind us to honor your mother, your mother, your mother and lastly your father. It's our fitra. The mother's feeling is very different from the father's feeling. The mother's love is always greater than the fatherly love. So focus more on your mom. Win her back. Make her happy. Talk to her. Communicate with her. Never, never cut ties from your parents, especially your mother. As a father, 
they are fitra, they are stronger. They are not that emotional. They do have some emotion, of course, but not that emotional. They tend to be hard to themselves, and that's how most of our fathers survive. It never means the father don't love us. It never means the father don't need us. They also need us. But normally, mothers are more sensitive. Being a mother, being a daughter, a daughter-in-law, I believe that you will understand this thing more than any of the guy, the brother, the son, or the son-in-law. But it's important for you to always be close to your parents, especially your mother. Never cut ties with them. Always reconcile. Always reconcile. Do that. So to all the son or the son-in-law, pleasing your mom and your mother-in-law, you don't lose anything. Be humble to them. You don't show your weaknesses. But you have a lot to gain. Because your mother and your mother-in-law is just like your own mother. May Allah help us to understand this feeling. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us have mercy upon all our parents. If we don't see each other again, don't forget to pray for me, my family, who are not yet Muslim, may Allah give them guidance. Who are Muslim, may Allah strengthen all our relationship. And may Allah meet us here or our near future. Or may Allah meet us in Akhirah. Amin. Ya Rabbul Alamin. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamualaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.